Hey, welcome everyone. I am Steve Jackson with Evolve Guitar. Today we're going to be taking a look at My Tears Ricochet from Taylor Swift. I'm going to include tabs for this song down in the description below. And hey, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. All right, so this song is real simple. We only got a few chords in it and it's very straightforward. So all we're going to do for the verse section is really just play four chords. The first chord is going to be this A minor chord. So we got the open A string, second fret D, second fret G, first fret B, open high E string. And we're just gonna strum it one time and hold it and count to four. One, two, three, four. Uh, after that, we're gonna move to a G chord and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna play it once and count to four. So this G chord I'm playing is third fret E string, second fret A, open on the middle two strings, the G and the B, or the D and the G. And we got third fret on B, third fret on the high E, and we're just gonna strum it one time. Same thing, we're gonna count to four. So A minor, count to four at the beginning. Three, four, and then G. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to E minor, so we got the open low E string, second fret A, second fret D, and then open, open, open on the other three. We're gonna play it one time, count to four. One, two, three, four. And then this F chord, which is, you know, a little more challenging, but not too bad. So we got the third fret D string, second fret G, and then we're barring across right on the first fret of the B and the E strings. And we're playing just those four strings. And same thing, we're gonna strum it one time and count to four. Two, three, four. All right, so all four chords together here, we got A minor, two, three, four to G, two, three, four to E minor, two, three, four to F, two, three, four. And like I said, I recommend just strumming each one time. If you wanted, you could do it like twice. You know, you could say one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, something like that, because there's not actually guitar at this point in the song anyway, so we're kind of making that up. Uh, but I think something like that will sound just about right. And getting into the chorus of the song, um, again, pretty simple, but we got a couple different chords. So we're going to start off with this C chord. We're going to play that just once. Again, count to four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to D minor. If you're not f familiar with D minor, pretty simple. We got open D string, we got second fret on the G. We got third fret on the B, and we got the first fret on the high E string, and we're gonna play those four strings. Same idea, right? We're gonna strum that count to four. One, two, three, four, and then back to our F chord. One, two, three, four. So one more time there from the beginning of the chorus. We got C once, two, three, four, to D minor. One, two, three, four, to A minor. One, two, three, four, to F, one, two, three, four. And then as the chorus repeats, you can tell it kind of like picks up in intensity. And at that point, what I would do if I'm playing it on guitar, I would start strumming a little more. So instead of just strumming once on each chord, I would start strumming like four times on each chord. So one, two, three, four, one, 